you guys have watched some of the previous videos in this series, you'll find we discuss three primary uh, uh, subjects. Number one is, what is a data recorder? Number two is, how does it work? And number three is, what's the basic data channels that comes with each data recorder? Now, this next series of videos is going to get a little more in-depth. They're not complicated. It's not anything like that. What it is, it's going to start discussing exactly the sensors that you need to utilize and how exactly they connect up. And, and the primary purpose of this is to let you guys understand why you need to stop running without data and stop guessing about your tune-up and know exactly how to tune the car based on true and factual information. Todd's going to tell us a little bit more about the uh, technology as far as how we connect everything up. Right, so what we talk about, obviously, on a race car, there's a lot of things you have to worry about. We try to make it as simple as possible to connect your race pack data system together. So if you think about, you know, on a standard vehicle, we've got sensors, we've got wires going absolutely everywhere, and it can be kind of a wiring nightmare if any of you have worked and, and looked at the ECUs, the wiring harnesses that are involved. Here with the race pack system, we make it very simple. We utilize uh, our VNet technology, which is basically we use the one cable that is going to provide all the information required for the system. If you think about it in terms of the way your house is wired, you have your cable, you have your telephone, you have your television signal all coming down the same wire. That's essentially the same thing we're doing here with these cables and with all the modules and everything. So it really doesn't matter on your race car where you have things situated. If you have a VNet module, and then we can run an extension cable, can connect to a dash, can connect to the data logger. The order of that doesn't matter. It all just connects together and communicates over the one single wire. So you're saying there's, that throughout the vehicle there can be a data recorder, there could be a dash located here, and there could be 20 sensors, and the, the, that cable or that type cable just snakes through the vehicle, and that's how it connects up. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So you can go ahead and collect all the sensors, uh, information, all the, all the dash or, or any type of instrumentation, uh, the data loggers, and the order doesn't matter. So in other words, I could disconnect the dash, move it over, and tee it back in another location. I could take everything out of the car, reconnect it all back up and it doesn't matter, it still works. That's, that's correct, yes. All the information is organized within the system all through the magic of the VNet cables. That's awesome.